So this is a puzzle in which you you have a grid with different colors, and you have to fill all that grid with a similar color. So here it starts with this screen. We have named it number virus. So there there are two levels of uh, difficulty: easy and medium. So this is the grid that you have to solve. So to create the game, you have to shake it. So now the game is created. Now you have to solve it. So it starts from the top corner. So like here is four. Now uh, there is there is option to choose zero and one because that that they are the cubes that in uh, actually um, they are around four. Mm. So you should choose zero. So it okay. will change the the those four to the zero. Now like this we have to traverse and we have to complete this uh, grid in a uh, same color in just 20 moves. Okay. So next should be three. One. Zero. One. Now it should be two. It should be three. What is the logic work? Should I press four, for instance? Uh, I can press four, but uh, I believe right from my logic, it will not help me out right now because when I, these all fours mm -hmm. are encircled with three, if okay. if I press four at last also, they mm -hmm. will cover it. Okay. So uh, there is no so such four no point in converting to four right now. Right now. Yeah. So what? Uh, actually, my steps are just twenty. So I have to be calcul. I have to think about uh, and what what should be the next step, and after that step, right. then only I can solve this. Okay. Let's move it four only, and one more facility is there. I can just go back if so at. A point of time, I think that I have made mistake around three or four steps okay. uh, back. I can just use this functionality and go back. The undo button. Undo button. So there's one more level which is medium, which we can come up with tough also. We can increase the colors. Hmm. So in this, there are six colors. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in the same grid and in the same number of moves, you have to manage more colors. So okay. this one way to increase the difficulty. So what kind of algorithm are you using to make sure the solution to the game? So for that, actually, uh, we first randomly generate a grid, mm -hmm. a random uh, this uh, grid with numbers. And then we check uh, with an algo in which we take four levels of uh, actually what can be the next move. Mm -hmm. We go to four, fourth level and we stop there. <coughs> we paint the screen again and from there we again go to the fourth level mm -hmm. and again paint. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the uh, solution, uh, if for that grid we get solution in 20 moves, mm -hmm. then we select it. Otherwise, we discard it. Mm -hmm. So in this way, we generate around uh, 100 grids, mm -hmm. and out of that, we get around 60 grids, which can be solved in this 20 moves. So you're, you're generating the game when you're shaking it, or they're pre-generated and they're you're saved. Pre pre-generated. Okay. They're pre-generated, but they are, we we have an engine. We can mm -hmm. generate as many as uh, grids as you can. Mm -hmm. You have to just uh, put up a number and it will generate for you. Good. And you can just pack those grids in this mm -hmm. app. And if we can even increase the difficulty while generating it. We can dis decrease the difficulty. Oh, so the, the grids were not generated on the phone. You generated it and then pushed it to the app. Yes. The app does not generate the grids. App does not generate the grids. So you built a generator too. We built a generator too. Uh, but... Uh, like these grids have an unique identifier you can search it now this facility is not there mm -hmm. but you if you want you can come up uh, with a search like if there was uh, some grid and you want to solve it mm -hmm. because the last time you didn't able to solve it now you can search that grid 
and you can again play the same grid. You can probably share that grid too if you have a seat number. Yes, <coughs> sure. You can, you know, what's have this sharing facility, right? Share to Facebook. Uh, we were working on that, but there were some API issues with Facebook in the morning. So we dropped that facility to the user. Now uh, you can play and you can, there's no, actually you can share with a mail, you can share with a uh, SMS, but that functionality okay. need to be done. So you built all of this overnight? Yes. Completely from Not scratch. me, not me, not at all. Okay. He was the developer of this game and okay. he built it and the logic, the game engine, the algo is all written by him and okay. he has done it, not me. Okay. I'm just presenting it. You're the marketing guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. But I'm just explaining it to you all. And uh, if you if you want to increase like for a particular game there can be n number of solution. So right now we are uh, on a logic that there should be at least one solution, but there are many, mm -hmm. and we, we we have the path mm -hmm. for that solution. So, in upcoming version, we can even tell the user that this should be the this is the solution for this game. Mm -hmm. Right now, okay. if you're stuck somewhere and you know don't know the uh, solution, we can come up with a solution that this is this is the uh, perfect solution for the game. And if he goes to a level where it's sure that uh, even after 10 moves, that game is not going to be stalled, we can tell the user that you have to move back or we, have, we can give them an uh, intermediate position or a stage of the game from where they can solve it. Many games do use hints as a, in a, uh, as a business model, as in uh, you pay for the hints, you probably try that. No, we can. If, it will be very good if the micro billing is there. Yeah, exactly. If micro links there, we can like, do it. For example, on Facebook, you can make Facebook credits. Like, X credits will get you one hint, and so people have to buy credits or do something else to get credits. There are companies that kind of do this. They are, as I said, if they are supporting micro link, yeah, or if they are virtual money they are hmm. providing, we can do it. But it should be, those APIs should be on this, and that yeah. should be working. Not on Facebook, I mean, in our Android, uh, Android app. Good. Good job, guys. Anybody else have any questions? Questions? When we can play this game? No. <laughs> you can play it now only. You can just get this APK on your phone. It works on your phone as well. Are you planning to release it as a commercial game from Spice? Yeah, I don't know. It's a commercial game. Take over here. Yeah. Question. Question is it going to be a commercial game or something like open source? Yeah, we can tinker around. It so. will be free on market. Okay. On the market, you can play it anytime. Okay.